Howdy, howdy, everyone. Hello, hello. How's it going, boys and ladies, boys and ladies? What are we covering? Well, the one thing I definitely want to get to is there's a new Greylock episode. That's priority. Oh, Matt, what's good? I just saw Matt Reeves go by. So for those who don't know, Greylock's made by Rob Gavigan, a YouTube OG, and that guy who just went by in chat, Matt Reeves. Glad you're here. Glad you're here, my guy. Excited to see the new episode. Friend of the channel, Kane Pixels, who you all may know from the back rooms, but I know as a thorn in my side, just sent me this video. He made this a while back and was waiting for me to start a stream before he sends it. All right, this is what this is what Kane, the backrooms creator, has been doing with his time. Skibbity Toilet series is an analogy to modern media versus traditional media. First, the Skibbity Toilets are a criticism to modern social media platforms and trends, like TikTok or Instagram, where the toilets infected humans to become a mindless toilets, on how modern social media has influenced people in doing mindless trends or dances. Even the song that the toilets play sing are song genres commonly found in those platforms. Skibbity Bop is even used on TikTok. As the camera, speaker, TV heads are compared to traditional analog media trying to stop the toilets. They are often depicting having more self-awareness than the toilets do have. Even the protagonist POV in majority of the videos is often on their side. One of the main songs they often play is Everybody Wants to Rule the World, which is an 80s song, a true classic. You can also conclude that the cameraman is supposed to represent us, witnessing the struggle of humanity with technological differences. It's kind of ironic if this analogy was true, but also proves the point in Skibbity Toilet success and the concern with the influence modern social... Never meet your heroes, kids. Thank you, Kane Pixels, creator of The Backrooms. You know what's sad is halfway through that I thought, if I was to talk about Skibbity Toilet, this is probably <laughs> some stupid stuff I would say about it. Is that all I am? Is that what it sounds like to be you, to hear me on the other side of this black mirror we call a computer screen? All right, so as far as I know, tape 12 is the only thing I haven't seen. Yeah, because I covered through tape 11 in the video. I made a video about it, right? So I have everything written down somewhere in this office, but I may forget for a minute, like, oh yeah, that character's related to that character, but it will it normally comes back to me. I'm so excited. I've, I've been saving myself for the live stream, but I've wanted to watch it so bad. All right. You are now prepared to see new shadows in your home. Great. <laughs> Immediately out of the gate. What is, what's the name for the, that was through the military, that makes your thoughts a reality, right? That I theorized was related to whatever was going on inside of the mountain, the old bean that crashed into the earth, the meteor, right? What did they call those? The thought, thought forms, that's it. Yeah, the thought form manifester, that's it. See, I told you it comes back to me. This video says intended for the use of Charlotte Jean Melgren. Uh, Melgren's the cop, right? The one who's been like hunting all this down. So I imagine Charlotte Melgren is the wife, maybe, perhaps, possibly. All right, here we go. Video tape is strictly prohibited. If you are in possession of this tape, you are not intended viewer. You are required to stop this tape. Bring it to superior officer, FBI, find up. For enhanced confidentiality, this video cassette has been modified so that it will not operate as intended on consumer grade video cassette recorders and must be played on specialized military sanctioned hardware. Interesting. And of course, made by Simeodyne. 93, January 2nd. I imagine this is like more recent events in the story. So it's another Simeodyne video. Participation in this part of the TF system, which thought form system, maybe, may result in the viewer achieving a heightened sensory state. This can cause the viewer to experience unexpected visual and auditory occurrences, which have no discernible source. So thought forms, I imagine. These occurrences may include, but are not limited to, transient moving shapes, unsettling shadow formations, vocal phenomena such as whispering, unidentifiable music that sounds distant or muffled, a feeling of a separate presence even while alone. Okay, so yeah, pretty standard at this point. You'll need this, a thought form system neurovisor headset. We got one of those, this guy right here. And you all might as well be a thought form because you're not real, but I'm talking to you anyway. And a word book and writing utensil. You know what? We're going to go all out, okay? We're going to, if there's like stuff to write down and things like that, I'm going to play. 
here we'll do this page the page that says i can weed from the mckamey manor video because i use all my notebooks welcome to waking your subconscious greetings and welcome to the second video program greetings. in the preconditional protocols and orientation video system for unit 13 tf2 waking your subconscious this video cassette has been specially designed to utilize powerful psychological exercises i'm making a theory right now that this tape is the tape that would have been shown to people like the little girl in i think it was part nine who said she went to the doctor's place or whatever like doctor-esque thing she described and that after that experience a thought form showed up in her house and killed her right i imagine this is the kind of tape they would play for her along with cutting edge technology and your own brain's Don't neuroplasticity wrong, to allow unit 13 to access the deepest energy potential of yes, your incredible you minds reference. this yeah. will be required to increase the likelihood of prime form cognogenesis before we begin, let's go over the required checklist to be sure you have everything in order so that we won't end up with any negative or unexpected outcomes okay. from this program. Right, let's see. First on the checklist, ensure that you are alone and will not be disturbed for the entire duration of this program. So I am alone in that there's no humans in the house. There's two dogs outside that may cause havoc. You guys aren't real, but you're definitely going to bother me. So... I've, I've got like half of the first point, right? It's critical that you do not become distracted, as working with the brain in such a way is a very delicate process. Okay. Second, turn off all light sources, except for your television or monitor that you are using for if this I, program. Okay, if I turn off all light sources, it looks like this. Is this an enjoyable stream? Is this an engaging experience for you all? What happens if I just turn the small one on? It looks like I'm in like an interrogation. Should I just leave the interrogation light on? That's what you get. Looks like I'm peeping through the sunlights in a Mexico episode of Breaking Bad. Um, it feels weird to say the people I worked with were very kind and respectful to me and they're great guys and they make a great product. Good men deciding to rise to the occasion, to not shy away from what the world has to offer them or what they have to offer the world and instead to make something of themselves to be something greater what right man would have it any other way all right this aids tremendously in your brain's ability to focus but it also can make you feel vulnerable or frightened which are beneficial to this program oh, achieving the desired results it's beneficial to be scared ideally you would wait until nightfall to complete this part of the program i'm not doing third that. Ensure that your volume is turned up to a level where no outside or ambient noise is able to leak through your headset. I would, but the this imaginary people in chat focus, will get mad. But so, it also no. aids in those feelings of fear and vulnerability, which are where our deepest and most complex selves are rooted. Fourth, have your workbook open to the TF2 section and have your writing utensil nearby, as some exercises will require you to write. However, if for any reason you do not have your workbook, simply grab a regular notebook or some sheets of paper and write your name and TF2 at the top of each sheet you use. Okay. You will need to hand those into your program liaison hold on, hold on. and they will take care of transferring. Pause. I need to write my name and TF2. We're going to do it. We're going to do it right. We're going to do whatever the doctor's orders are. Okay, so I'll write my actual name, Isaiah. You're ready to continue to the next part. Now is the time to make sure that your neurovisor headset is correctly equipped and connected. If you need any assistance, or are looking for more information regarding the neurovisor, be sure to check the section titled Equipment and Connection in your Unit 13 yeah, program so handbook. This will be your final opportunity to pause playback for the rest of this tape. Pausing after this point will cause a disruption, which could carbonize your fucking skull. Interrupt the data being collected which by could your headset. What? Carbonize your fucking skull. Interrupt. Carve the something something. What? Your screen is about to gradually turn red. Once it is completely red, the program has officially begun, and the point of no return has been crossed. You have 10 seconds. Oh, all right. <clears throat> Carbonize, thank you, Matt. So I'm gonna try to not pause it for the video, for the first playthrough. Alright. <clears throat> I 
induction. Locking the gateway to the deeper quarters of your psyche. Right. For a sensitivity warning, our first section induction contains bright flickering. If you have a photosensitivity disorder, and if it you is have, best that you do not look at your screen. And if you weaken your or shield your chat, eyes a... and just listen. Once the tone in your headset changes, it will be safe to look at your screen again. Induction will begin in so five close seconds. Close your eyes if you have epilepsy. For the rest of us, time to hurt our brain. Beginning induction. Please stare at your screen for 30 seconds. Okay. One minute later. 30 seconds is a long time. Induction complete. Okay. You can look again, children. Uh. <laughs> oh, my head hurts. Cool. We did that. I see that. I see whatever you are standing back here. I see you with your long fingers. I don't like it. Section two, prime me. Prepare your mind for enhanced neuroplastic realignment. Maybe my parents were right. Maybe the devil does five separate get to sets you of words. Like this. Each set will contain six words. Okay. For each set, you will have ten seconds to choose the one word out of the six that you feel doesn't fit with the others, and write it down in your workbook or on an appropriately labeled okay. piece of paper. If you do not have your workbook, simply write the numbers 1 through 5 vertically on your paper and place your answers beside each corresponding number. Now, let's begin. So I write the one that doesn't fit. Okay. Chair, table, couch, rope, bed, mirror. Rope. I don't like whatever pokey hands back there is doing. Set 2. Brain, heart, blood, lung, liver, kidney. I mean, they're all parts of the body, and blood is technically an organ, but it's not a solid organ. So I'm gonna say blood. Okay, I said I wouldn't. Okay, terrified, screaming, running, followed, hiding, visible. Visible, I think? That thing back there is getting more clear. I don't like it. Right? Visible? Stop! Love contours her fl Okay, whatever. Mutilated, disfigured, mangled, butchered, dismembered, improved. Improved. Okay, I said I wouldn't pause it for the first playthrough. We'll go back and read all the hidden messages after, but I'm, I'm experiencing it right now. Morph, transform, mute. Uh, <laughs> me, I'm different. <laughs> I'm not one of those things. <laughs> I don't morph for transform, I hope. You. Okay. Priming right. complete. That was a cave of something. Unauthorized alterations detected. <laughs> What's going on? I don't. Oh, I want to pause it. Pausing is my safe space. Testing the way that you perceive and respond to certain stimuli. I don't want to respond to anything. Variation of the Stroop test, which will measure multiple facets of your reaction to congruent and incongruent stimuli, okay. while also examining how you deal with high stress, high anxiety situations. Those, you will be yeah, shown a series of faces with emotional expressions, and the word for each emotion written on each face. The word could match the expression, like the word happy on a smiling face, or they might not Eyes. match, like the word angry appearing on a sad face. Okay, say only the expression that's happening? the first testing phase of this section. This will be the easiest phase, with each subsequent phase becoming more and more difficult. Look directly at your screen and state your Okay, so I say what loud. the face phase is, not what the word is. Please state the word- okay written on the face and discard the actual expression. Okay. Neutral. Happy. Sad. Angry. Scared. Neutral. State the word written on each face and disregard the expression. Okay. Sad. Happy. Neutral. Scared. Happy. Scared. State the expression on each face. Now I disregard the word. Okay. Right. Angry. Happy. Neutral. Scared. S neutral. <laughs> what was that? Please state the expression. Disregard the word. Okay. Neutral. Happy. Sad. Angry. Happy. Neutral. Angry. Neutral. Scared. 
a happy neutral. I don't. We just hard cut to a house. I saw that. I don't like that. What on earth? This has got to be during the, the things that came out of the mountain, right? Like when they were terrorizing everyone. You don't like it, but how do you think I feel? Great, I love the detail. I love like the level of attention that goes to everything, making it its own logo, all the designs and sets, like it's all it's all very well done. Great, great production for a YouTube ARG. It's insane. Hello. Uh, yes, hello, this is Troy with Evervigil Security. Am I speaking with Charlotte Melgren? Uh, it's gotta be uh, Jim's uh, wife, right? Yeah, yeah. Maybe We're daughter, maybe same. daughter. But. Uh, Ms. Melgren, we've detected some unusual activity at Forever Friends Kennels. Our system alerted us that kennel door one was open and then closed unexpectedly, followed by a power outage. Is it correct that your primary residence is the first unit at Forever Friends? Uh, yeah, yeah, but... Okay, so I'm not the one who got the security system. It was my dad. So I don't know if there's some okay, like, fixes daughter. or whatever, but yeah, you guys have called me in Jim's the middle daughter. of the night like five times in the past couple of weeks, and it's all turned out to be false alarms every time. I, I'm so sorry about that, ma'am. I, I, I can take a look into why that might be happening if you'd like, uh, but first I need to be sure that you're in a safe situation. Are you currently alone? Yeah, it's just me. But I, I'm looking out the window right now, and everything seems fine. I mean... The power's out, but it literally goes out all the time over there. So I'm just going to go flip the breaker. Uh, Ms. Melgren, we strongly advise against going outside or into the kennels, especially with the power outage. We can call out a police officer dispatched and they can make wait, sure wait, it's wait, safe wait, before wait, you... Wait, hold on. Is, is there any way we don't have to do that? I have to be up at 6, and the last time it took them over an hour to get here for nothing. Please. Ma'am. Like I said, this has happened a ton of times, and plus the dogs aren't even barking. If someone was in there, they'd be going crazy by now. Ma'am, I could get in a lot of trouble oh, if anything dead. happened, and I didn't call anyone. It's company policy. How about this? I'll keep you on the phone while I go, okay? I'll switch to my cordless and everything. If anything happens at all, you can call the police. Miss Melgren, people have been exploding all over town. Grab my flashlight. Please. I just, I, I have a lot going on tomorrow, and I really just want to get back to sleep. I, uh, yeah, she's, well... <laughs> she's super dead. <laughs> let me at least check yeah, tonight. Yeah, she's infinitely sure dead. Yeah. First, all right? yeah, yeah, of course. Go for it. Okay. Let me see here. Yeah, it's playback error, because we saw it. I saw it. But I can't go back and rewind, because I'm sticking with the lore, but in, like... From the left building to the right, you saw something cross over really quick. Oh, so I um, okay, I'm getting an error. It's not letting me review it. Well, I, I can just head over really quick. Like, real quick. Have we seen before the thought well, forms can manipulate There's tech? no motion alert in tonight's vlog, so... <sighs> okay, just please be quick and safe. Thank you. Seriously, I'm going to go throw some clothes on and... Um, you know, grab the cordless, okay? Uh-oh, bad decision, yeah, Charlotte. Right. Yep. I'll look into the false alarms you mentioned and see if I can figure out what's going on with that. Okay, be right back. I love all this being set up just for the series. It looks really good. On the cordless. Got my flashlight. Still there? Um, yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. 
Uh, Yo, the on the roof! Right across the kennel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you see that? Yo! Bro, tell her! You're on the phone with her! Be like, no, 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 no! <laughs> leave, 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 leave. He's not saying okay, anything! I know he's in disbelief, yep. but. The power is definitely out. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna go check on the doctor. Please, 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 please. <laughs> but everything seems fine. I'm I'm really not sure this is a good idea, Ms. Mugrin. <laughs> that is an understatement. You saw a flesh man. Thing of your home. On that you, motion alarm. What do you mean wrong? Honestly, I'm I'm not sure exactly what I'm looking at here. It seems like the camera's glitched out or something. But the previous calls you've been getting, they they weren't false alarms. Yeah, again, I'm not sure what's going on here, but uh, something's been stalking around your property for a while now. I, I, I'm not sure how the previous people who called you didn't notice. Okay, something like what, an animal or? No, no, well, I, I don't know actually. I just, listen, I, I just there's think you should 12 go back foot to tall your house, okay? amalgamation Please. of flesh and sin okay, okay, in yeah, front you, of those dogs' wait, kennels. Sure the you dogs don't own okay? dogs anymore. He owns dogs right now. <laughs> uh, you okay, need to leave. Thank you. I'm going to try to look over tonight's footage again just in case it's decided to work. Okay. Hi, babies. Hi, Mama. It's... Um... What's wrong? Um... I don't... know. You okay, you okay buddy? Oh. Charlotte? What's going on? The dogs aren't moving. They're all just... standing... here. Well, it's late, so <laughs> maybe they're just tired or something. No. But let's just get no, you back. Not it. But they're just standing here, not moving, like at all, like not even their eyes. It, it's like, oh my god, it's it's like they're fucking dead, oh, but they're fuck. not. What the fuck? What? What? Miss Melgren, you need to get out of there and return to your house I immediately. I'm sending your information to the police right now. What's going on? Get the hell out of the kennel okay. now! Fuck! Fuck! I'm leaving. <laughs> what was that? Are you okay? <laughs> Charlotte! Charlotte, are you okay? It, it just, it, it ripped my flashlight. Charlotte? It ripped my flashlight. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Something, something ripped it out of my hand. I can't, I can't see anything. Please, please fucking help me. Please, please, something's in here. Wait. Okay, Charlotte, I've sent your information to the North Adams PD, okay? They responded that an officer will be there in three minutes. Uh, if you can find your way out. Charlotte, listen, you need to try your best to be calm and just listen to me, okay? Can you find your way out? I'm trying. 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 I'm
know if it's really this dark or if if I'm blind. Breathe, Charlotte. Breathe. Blind. You need to try and stay as calm as you possibly can. Listen, if it's that dark, whatever is in there probably can't see you either, okay? So it's important that we stay very quiet until the police arrive. Very quiet. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. Stay right where you are. Keep your back against the wall. All right, the officer's just down the road right now. You're going to be okay. Now, now listen, I'm going to stop talking so we can be completely quiet. But no, I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere until you're safe. Thank you. Thank you. The voice I'm acting sorry. is stellar. I'm so sorry. I should have listened to you. It's, it's all okay. We're going to get you out of there. Now, no more talking. This test is made up of five statements. You will check true or false beside the corresponding number for each statement in your workbook. If you do not have your workbook, simply write one through five vertically on a piece of paper and write T or F beside each number. You will have five seconds to respond to each statement. Your test begins now. T or F, right? Statement okay. number one. This video system is physically changing your brain. Yes, absolutely. 100% <laughs> true. That thing's closer. This thing over here is closer. This is so much closer. I don't like it. This video system leverages the principles of neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections. Through these specific audiovisual stimuli and cognitive exercises, it's influencing specific neural pathways in your brain, thereby physically altering the structure and function of your brain in response to this experience. Well, you can't. Number two. Even if I move, a very my small camera. percentage of people will never betray their moral values, no matter the situation. A small percentage of people will never betray. True. Yeah. What? You, you think a large percentage will never betray? Under the right circumstances, such as intense oh, anyone peer pressure, will, I see, survival okay. situations, you can't or see psychological anything if manipulation, the it's proven that anyone like can shadow. be made to betray even the strongest attachments to the moral values. Down here. Statement number anyone three: will change. Through your conscious mind, you make your own decisions. Okay, it's gonna. I'm gonna put false because it's saying no. Actually, your decisions are predetermined by some greater blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah. A large portion of human decision making occurs at an it's unconscious level. Look the at the conscious fingers, mind rationalizes it's these decisions closer. after the fact, making the person believe they made a deliberate choice. I'm, I'm so choice now. is an illusion. How does this Statement have number left? four. We all have our moral thoughts and desires, but it's critical to focus our energy on the positive aspects of ourselves so that we can be better people. Okay, the correct answer is true in the real world. I'm going to put false. Because it's saying, um, you're actually supposed to give in to those evil desires, yeah. The darkest aspects of your mind are part of a larger psychological entity that resides deep within your unconscious. This shadow entity cannot be reasoned with. It cannot be ignored. It's like the Russian you sleep experiment. You cannot subdue it, lock it away, or eliminate it. The idea of there's Even this monster in everyone. Even thing has the opposite effect, only making it stronger, yeah, darker, and more dangerous. It. Statement number five, opening the door to your shadow psyche and embracing your darkest urges as a part of yourself is the only way to live a it's fulfilling gonna life. It's going to be true. It's going to be true. Yeah. I only missed two, so I did pretty good there. Okay. 
This is just. No, 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 no. Testing don't complete. Do that to me. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Stop. Activation. Establishing the subliminal bridge. What you are about to experience has been carefully constructed, in combination with previous exercises, to create a connection point between your conscious and unconscious oh, mind. That's that's awesome. This is our final section of this tape. Please watch and listen very closely. Do not look away or shield your eyes for any reason. Okay, here we go. This Please remember, your fear and vulnerability are essential components to this process. Activation of the subliminal bridge will begin in five seconds. The monster seconds. left because it's in my head now. That's the idea. The black door. If someone opened my office door right now, I would explode. Maybe the evangelicals are right. Maybe maybe technology has devils inside of it. Maybe I should be Amish. Maybe that's it. Right. I'm not looking away. I don't care for you. Stop that. Go away right now. I don't care for that. I don't particularly care for that. Just get it over with, guys. Matt, Rob, be a man. Just hit me. Hit me. Right here. Come on, I want you to do it. I want you to do it. Hit me. Hit me. Is this part of our psychological test, or is this more corruption because I'm watching it on a different camera or something? Haha, <laughs> you're very creepy, you're very cool. Now you can you can get it over with any time. You're proving your point. You can just send it. I don't like the door opening. Don't like it. Don't like it. I hate when you're in the shower and you hear something because it's like, what do I do? Do I fight it naked? <laughs> Just like, it's the cups while I'm all slippery? No. I'm sure this is good for me, whatever it is. The Earth's interesting because remember, it seems that the root of everything that's happened was a meteor that crashed to Earth sometime back, right? And then lodged something in Greylog, in Mount Greylog. This is the police going to investigate. 
Okay, well, we're seeing the basement. Where Melgren stopped, where Charlotte was. North Adams Police. Anybody down here? Jesus, it's dark in here. The fuck was that? Is that a goat? Game. Well, not game. Show, movie, whatever this is, stop. Get it over with. Do it. Do it. Just do it. Ah! Guys, I, I get it. You're very creepy. You're very scary. <laughs> Well done on completing the TF2, waking your subconscious, video cassette. Please allow your brain to rest for at least 12 hours before continuing this video system. Once you have rested and you are ready, enter the cassette labeled TF3, The Shadow, Communion and Assimilation. This is the end of this tape. Guys, <laughs> hold on. That might have been the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hats off, boys. Man, that was awesome. Oh my gosh. I watched so many so many horror series, you know, video games, stuff like that. And it's so often that I watch something, and I'm like, I wish the creators would just do it, right? Like, they would just go there. Like, you've got this giant amalgamation flesh thing that turns people into it. Cool, show me how brutal that can get. Show me, show me like, the most metal, intense links this concept will be pushed to. Like, I remember when I was watching um, Nope, the Jordan Peele film, when the, the, the ship goes above the house, or do you think it's a ship? The alien goes above the house and, like, throws up all the blood and bones. Like, perfect. A, a giant ship that eats people? That's what I want to see. I want to see how gross it is. So you've got shapeshifters. I want to see how gross it is. There you go. That's insane. Her arms are morphing, and she's joining the form of the dogs, it looks like. Like, all their flesh is becoming putty together. And if you watch her face, not only is she getting, like, dog eyes, but her mouth is becoming like that of a dog. The flesh is becoming nothing. It's becoming a puddle into each other. It's like, yeah, you want, you, you have this, like, this wretched thing brought out of the mountain that is using flesh, it's using uh, biology like putty to create these new creatures. How gross does that get? Greylock shows you. Man, and obviously it's reminiscent of The Thing, right? It makes me think of that scene from The Thing where the dogs are, you know, being attacked. This is like John Carpenter in like an analog horror space. Gosh, that was good. Once again, Greylock on top. I'm glad I titled it as the best of analog horror in that video and it has held up to the title. I don't know how long it took you all to do it, but it was worth it. <laughs> it paid off. There's few times that I watch like a horror product, especially nowadays, and when I get done, I'm like, yeah, they did every, they, they pulled everything that could be pulled out of that concept. I'm satisfied. This is one of those times you all, yeah, th gosh, that's so good. Fun fact that behind the scenes, Matt and I refer to her as dog mom. <laughs> oh, that's so metal. Dog mom. Yo, that's brutal. That, remi that reminds me so much of old like um, horror movies and stuff like that. They build like these big props on set. And they'd be like, oh yeah, this is, you know, Fred, or this is like, you know, the the, the father, stuff like that. Ah, oh, that's so cool, dude. That's awesome. Ah, art. Gosh, it's good. Okay. All right, I did 
I did the test the way you're supposed to do the test. I didn't pause it. So now we can go through and look at some more details about it. The analysis section, so to speak. So I remember there's a screen that flashed. There we go. See, I knew it. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. All you cherish will be remade. Okay. That's a nice note. Wait, was this a different set of words? I know that's Charlotte. Terrified. Okay, so all we got there was, okay, that leads into the next five. Okay, it's, yeah, so all you cherish will be remade. And then Charlotte, probably. Local Samaritan opens her heart and home to stray dogs. Adoption center, forever friends. That's an unfortunate name. I want to go back after this and listen to uh, what the star, whatever the star is, said to Jim. Because if that's his daughter that just died like that. Did it warn him? Was there any forewarning about it? Because we have the other girl that everything happened to. I forget her name, but the one who had the phantom pregnancy, you know, who like comes back to life in the uh, the morgue. The love contorts her flesh and bone. Yeah, yeah. So the, um, the thing we just saw about Charlotte and the, um, the dog, the newspaper said like loving woman, whatever, opens her heart, whatever. So... Speaking of Charlotte, love contorts her flesh and bone. Oh, yeah, yeah, Ray. Oh. So here, given where this eventually goes, it's saying that all these words fit together because to be mutilated, disfigured, mangled, butchered, and dismembered is to be improved. Mm. All those fit together because the the changing, the turning, the mutating, that's you. That's what's happening to you. Where is your precious daughter, Jim? Yep, yep. It's Jim's daughter that it happened to. Ah, uh, ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Uh, missing Charlotte Melgren. Priming complete. DIA recovery footage, Greylock Project Tunnel Exploration, cam operator Paul Morelli. Yeah, okay, Paul Morelli of Morelli Construction. If you remember, he is the guy. He's the one that all the transformations happen to. My favorite part in the series when they're in the mountain and he's making the calls where he's like becoming one of the creatures from inside of the mountain. That's him. So this was his camera as he was going down there. We've seen pictures, but this is our first, I think, video glimpse of the tunnels in Mount Greylock that Paul was compelled to go down into. So whatever entity is manipulating the footage was taunting Jim. Where's your daughter, Jim? You know, so. Um, yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, it's on the roof. See this? See this thing right here? You'll watch it move. Okay. Uh, Look at it crawl. Right now, and then going right across with the camera. Ah, it's so, so freaky. On another That's cool. He should have known. He should have been like, this is weird. This is weird. Don't, whatever that is, don't do it. Which I imagine this has to be one of, this thing that got into the kennel has to be one of the creatures from the mountain, right? Because that's where we see like the flesh people come out of. I would think, at least. Love contorts my flesh. There could be something to that phrase, love contorts my See, we don't know a lot about either the motives or the reason the thing in Grey Law. I mean, we assume it's for control, why whatever in the mountains doing it is doing it. But we don't know that. Maybe there is something about like what you're drawn to forces you to become it. Maybe it's an involuntary process almost when these creatures are around. Maybe the love contorts her actually meant something rather than just it threw her into what she loved. Maybe that had some like binding effect. I don't know. That part where she's like the dog, the dogs aren't moving. And then she says, uh, my skin feels different. Uh, my skin feels like it's moving, yeah. Is that the thought form that killed the kid? I'm trying to remember when a child died in the series. Yeah, which kid? Which kid? <laughs> when did a kid die in the series? We're not kidding. Kid in the room. Oh, the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The little, the, the, the girl who uh, went to the doctor's place and stuff. I don't think it's the same one, but they look similar. This one looks way taller. And then it mimics the kid's voice, remember? It's like, it's a monster, haha, because it, it killed a kid. At least in my theory, it killed a kid. Because I'm seeing of your home. It mimics the police's you, voice. Yeah, yeah. Man, mean, this is such a good scene. Greylock is so good. Honestly, I'm, I'm not so sure many exactly highlights. What I'm, Greylock is a yeah, Hall of yeah, Famer. Sure it's easy top here, five. But... Let me think. The back rooms, the oldest view as well, they would both be up there. So I'll just say Kane's work, his body of work. The Mandela catalog, maybe the Walt files. I don't know. 
The Wall Files is good, but it doesn't hit as hard as something like Greylock does for me. Honestly, that might be my top three. Mandela, Kane, and Greylock. Probably Gemini. I like Gemini more than... That. Local 58 was like the forerunner. It kicked off everything, but... I mean, it's been so long between episodes and stuff. I think I, I, think I like Gemini more. Monument Mythos? Um, hmm. I like Monument Mythos, don't get me wrong. I don't think it would be top five. I like the level of absurdism the Monument Mythos gets to, but for me... It loses some points in the horror and storytelling aspect because of it, because it can pull anything. And I love that it can pull anything, like it can go that far, but I don't think it'd make a top five for me. White Stag's good. I don't think that'd be a t- that would be a top five. Vita Carnus would not be top five, I don't think. So far, it's Gemini, Mandela, Kane. If I broke Kane up into two, that'd be my five. But Kane, Greylock, maybe the Walt Falls, yeah. No, I don't think it'd be Harmony and Horror. I don't know what my fifth would be. The FNAF VHS tapes, yeah, for sure. No, but anyway, what I was saying? Petscop. That's it. That's it. That's my That's my fifth, for sure. For sure. Petscop. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's that's the top five. Greylock, Mandela, Kane, Gemini, and Petscop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, what I was saying is how well the horror and the mystery work into the story that's trying to be told. And I think that things like... Greylock do a great job of that. Other ones that kind of meander and they kind of leave the story for the bit and they kind of they, they, they kind of side quest a lot, you know. If Walton Files continues now at the quality the last episode was, like that good, then I think it would kick out Gemini to be in the top five. But Walton Files, Walton Files is just out of it right now because I feel like their best moments have been from like part three on. Well, I don't know. There's some really good stuff in part two. I'd have to think about it. Not that my opinion matters, but yeah. Bob's Burgers. Yeah, you're right. Be clear top five. Harmony and Horror was what I was thinking. I was trying to describe they kind of leave the plot for a bit and then like come back to it because I felt like I felt like a lot of the time up until the end, the ending was really good. Uh, but I feel like they keep adding new elements of the plot rather than explaining the initial premise. Like, for example, with Greylock... You open up and you're like, there's some kind of supernatural aspect in the mountains. And then every episode you get after that's more explanation to that. Whereas some, I, if I remember right, Harmony and Horror is like, oh, we have a family who's disappeared. Then you find out there's cult stuff. But then there's a lot of like, well, it actually relates to this. And here's, I don't know. It's, it, Greylock explains its beast, I feel, in a more satisfying way. And that's why it narrowly edges out for me, basically. So I'm imagining that our next tape is TF3, the Shadow Community Simulation. I imagine that's going to be the next video is the implication. Or, I don't think there's a hidden video somewhere, right? (laughs) In a frame when we see the newspaper, Charlotte says, I've been so deeply changed by the dogs I cared for. Yeah, (laughs) I guess you were. Oh, okay, someone said when you speed up the voice at 2920, it says, but parasites like these, while distressing, are no match for man when he's well organized. Oh, is that saying that there is a hope against the things in Mount Greylock? That there's uh, there's an upside to it? Maybe. Well done on completing the TF2, waking your subconscious, video cassette. Please allow your brain to rest for at least 12 hours before continuing this video system. Once you have rested and you are ready, enter the cassette labeled TF3. Yeah, there's no, no one knows of any unlisted videos, right? There's nothing else out there. I don't think so. Is the Semiodyne Twitter account official? Oh, okay. That's confirmation for Rob that it is official. All right, we'll check that out. Because I saw it, I saw it on Twitter, but it was like, is this just a fan making it as a joke and Rob's following it just to be funny? But if it's official, we might check it out. Okay. So let's check out this. They only have 20 posts, so... Consumers all over the globe knew Simeodyne didn't just mean the most quality, but the most affordable. Simeodyne worked tirelessly with the U.S. government to assure that all citizens had access to technology they need to get assistance. Everybody informed. Oh, let me follow real quick. Um, for telephones, television, Simeodyne wanted their products in your home. National Access Initiative began in 63 between the Johnson's administration and Simeodyne. Truly revealed as a bonus team player, blah, blah, blah. Dangerous conspiracy theories spreading lies and misinformation attacked Simeodyne, suggesting that the National Access Initiative was a mass surveillance operation. Um, it was. In September 7th today, and on this day, we remember the number of lives lost that occurred during one of Simeodyne's Scotland operations. This is new, right? We haven't heard anything about that. We'll always remember the number. We sacrifice for the number. Oh. September 7th tomorrow, and on that day, we remember the number. Okay. 
What? It looks like a giant Cthulhu looking thing. It almost looks like this is a head. These are like tentacles coming. Or maybe those are tubes. Like these are tubes feed into some egg looking thing. What the heck? Okay. I'm feeling down and out. Are you depressed? Think about this. Be thankful it hasn't happened here yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We'd like to apologize for the interruption and post. We're addressing the issue. We've addressed the issue. Former city on USA social media manager Derek has been relieved of duty. Please say hello to our new CMO manager, Jacob. Thank you for your compliance and understanding. Maybe there are tweets that got deleted. Reminded all staff, entities show signs of independent intelligence must be reported to an active supervisor immediately upon discovery. Remember what happened to Henry from containment. <laughs> Don't become a Henry. Notice posted. Seraphim's... That's new. Seraphim syndrome? Seraphim syndrome is real and it's deadly. Now we're getting into my territory with the... <laughs> Remember, while an entity may appear as an angel... This is only its outward appearance. Those entities hold no hidden knowledge and cannot speak into your mind or influence your thoughts. Maintain your grasp on reality. What the heck? What? <laughs> okay. If you feel your connection to reality has been compromised by an entity, you must report to an on-duty supervisor immediately for psychiatric assessment of potential deep programming protocols. What? <laughs> what do you mean, Seraphim Syndrome? We haven't seen those yet, right? Have you slept this week? The rumors circulating about cognogenesis causing severe and potentially fatal neuropsychological trauma are false. Any personnel found disseminating such information will be subject to compulsory or debriefing. Hysterication. Thank you. You think it's long over, but it's not. It's only just the beginning. It's been going for a long time. Sure, the end has come. It's come for many times, many more times still. It's unaccountable. It's unknowable, but we're all trapped within it. Don't make the mistake of thinking it's a cycle. It's not. It's everything. Boundless and absolute. Always and everywhere. We're all plugged into it. Some try to ignore it or dull the attachment. Others chase it. The thing you remember is that you're never free from it. Okay? Notice to all staff, all husks must undergo complete cerebral suity confirmation prior to transport. Recent incidents necessitate increased vigilance. Just because it's motionless doesn't mean it's mindless. That has to be in reference to the bodies, right? Of Maybe people who like to use the machine. I don't know. Don't forget to initiate... Hemispheric brainwave synchronization. Have you ever experienced a lucid dream? Disclaimer, your answer will be logged and used to shape your individual and professional trajectory. Incorrect input may have hazardous future. My neighbor's family was strangled to death on the Appalachian Trail. Gosh, this account, this is wild. I'm not going to try to figure out what seraphim syndrome and all that stuff is. I know it's weird. I know it's creepy. Uh, and then there's a picture of Mount Greylock for the banner. Man, I love Greylock so much. It's so good. All right. <sighs> That was fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, I want to stream more again. Like I said, I'm not immediately pressing on stuff to do. So yeah, I'd like to continue streaming. No clue when, but like I said, turn on notifications. Thank you all who donated today. If I missed yours, I apologize, but it means the world and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you all very much for sticking around. And is there anything else? No, I believe that should do it for now, but I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.